Welcome back to our channel. We really appreciate you tuning in, watching us with our project here. We do appreciate it. What we're going to do now is put down its engineered hardwood tongue and groove flooring. We're going to cut the angles, kind of lay it out and see where it needs to go and start putting it down. Let's see how much we can get done because we've never done this before. So let's see what we can do. We're really happy with this flooring. It looks really pretty. Now that the lots are wired in, and I can wire them together and get them to work, they are coming in handy. And they're brighter than I thought they were. Later on, I will install the switches and you'll be able to see how that works. It seems to be going down pretty well. The Angles in the corners kind of tricky, but we seem to be getting it done. I think it looks, looks pretty good. Here's the floor completed. All we like is just a few small pieces that go up against the wall. We don't have the tools here to cut it. We'll take it to the shop and do it tomorrow. Okay, now that we've got the floor finished up, we are gonna go ahead, we still can't take it to the shop right now. So we are gonna go ahead and attempt to put the windows in. Here where we have it marked where it's gonna go right there. That's a hole drill to the outside. The outside is marked. You can kind of see out here where it's taped off. Then we're going to drill a couple holes in the corner and saws all it out. There's where the window will go in there. We're going to go ahead and start drilling the holes. I think I'm doing this for the most dull drill bit I've ever seen in my entire life, but it's getting it done. Well, it's too late to turn back now. We started cutting the hole. Hopefully everything will fit in there. Okay. What's the saying? Measure twice, cut it once. I just about wore the tape out measure. I probably measured it 500 times so I could cut just once.
gives you an odd feeling doing all this work on this trailer and then cutting a big hole in the side of it. It's kind of nervy until you know the window will fit in there. Well, there's one of the windows. We got to do the finishing touches on it, but there it is. It's going to be nice, and that bottom part opens up and there's a screen on there so that that will be nice it's a really good feeling when you know the window fit in there and everything's gonna be just fine okay there's the window finished up from the inside of course the screws they sent wasn't even close to being long enough to pull the window together because you got to boat this rim right here to the one that's on the outside to pull it together and they wasn't close to being long enough, so we had to go buy screws to fit in there. We're going to paint the heads of them black. It raises up. You can adjust, but we can raise it up a little higher. And lock on it. So that's that one in. And then the next one will be installed right over there above the sink area. And of course, there'll be one in this walk-in door when we get it finished. We gotta put metal on the outside of it and everything redo that whole door. Well, that's that much more done. Now let's see what else we can get done. All right, there's the other hole cut in for the, the other window. It's going to be in there over where the counter is for the kitchen. It's cut, and that's the inside frame. It's there. But now we got to put the butyl tape on the window, put the screws in it, and it's in there. So that's the kit. That's going to be the kitchen area, and the countertop will go right underneath that. There's the other window on the other side. That's the inside of it. Like I said, it's right there in the kitchen area. There'll be a countertop coming right down through there over to here. So it's just above the countertop. And that's what it looks like from the outside. All we have left is really just cut the excess butyl tape off the outside, but that should have it all sealed up right there. So that's nice. That's all the windows except the one in the walk-in door, but it's gonna be a little later because we're gonna completely rebuild that door. And then we'll put the window in there. We already have it, we just have to rebuild the door. Okay, now we're at the shop. Finally got it to the shop, it's late at night. We're gonna burn some in, although it's not. We gotta put an extra piece down in here. It wasn't quite wide enough to put the baseboard down, so we're gonna finish this up. We're gonna finish that piece up, and then we're gonna finish the ship lap up here. Earlier today, we finished finished the window on this. I cut installed that window, which is really nice. So. We'll finish the ship lap. It should be blue over here. I'm, I'm not sure if it's gonna be raw wood over there because that's gonna be the shower, so that'll all be closed in. And then tomorrow, we may go ahead and build our wall to close the bathroom area off. But that's what we're working on now. Let's get to work. Now we're working on the short pieces of ship lap we need to finish up the nose. Let's get it done.
you can see right here where we cut those pieces and finished up the floor. It looks really good. Now we're working on the ship lab. That over there in the very nose of the trailer doesn't really matter. It's going to be a corrugated steel shower surround that we're putting in there. So that'll be just fine. Then this over here is going to be cabinets and a backsplash. So it doesn't really matter. We'll paint and kind of trim in what's left. And that over there is going to have a backsplash over there. So... We will trim up and paint the white, what needs to be white, but most of that will be covered with a backsplash. And then that back behind where she's working now, all that's going to be the shower surround. So you won't be able to see any of that. Just the blue is all you'll be able to see over there. Next, I'm going to start working on the electrical switches. I had made a box, but she don't like it, so I came up with another idea that she likes better. There's the box I built for the whole switch panel. It matches the ship lap and everything. There it is. You can wire it all up and get the switch in. setting it up is when you come in and hit the first switch it turns those two lights on when you hit the second switch or you can hit them both at the same time and it'll turn the main lights on in here number three switch we're going to do the fan number four we'll probably do the light that's going to be in the bathroom and then number five will be the water pump including this in two different places but it gets its 12 volts where I have a transformer so step down transformer from 120 to 12 volts and I just plug it into that receptacle right there
hatches mounted up, and then all the ship laps finished up. Back there it don't matter because that's going to be the surround for the shower. That back there will be, all that will be painted or it will have a backsplash put on. So got quite a bit done today. Yesterday we got the window finished up. Today we got that window installed. Got all the rest of the ship lap up. The trim on the floor finished. And that box made, built in that basket and got it all wired up and working. So. That is gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found something in here that might help you with your project. And once again, thanks for, to everyone that has subscribed to our channel and thanks for watching our content. And if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. And once again, thank you and keep moving forward.